All right, the last six last. Now we have Bad Boys for Life. So, well, I want you to do the synopsis on what the movie is about. But uh, yeah. so, quick, 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 quick history with with Bad Boys for me, right? With Bad Boys one and two, um, and well, for the was seen show, um, well, the collaboration that I had with you, Ricardo, and Sabali, right? Where we talked about Bad Boys too. I said that this was right. probably one of my favorite guilty pleasure movies, part two, uh, mainly because right. of how over the top the action scenes were. Yes, it was very, very, very light of story, very devoid of character characterization, but still, it just had a lot of energy, had a lot of like high octane action to it, and yeah, right. like I just see it's just one of those shows that even if you have like probably one hour of sleep, like you could be like just tired, like dog tired. You could watch this and just be exhilarated though, because it's just so high octane, right? But that was back in 2003, right? And before that, well, back in 1995, well, we had the original Bad Boys, right? The first movie. And I remember when that came out, I remember how big a deal it was. I was too young to see it because, well, I don't know, I was like, what, 11 back then? <laughs> I wouldn't have seen it because it was like 40 years and over, but I remember that being a big, big deal. Mainly because, well, Martin Lawrence and Will Smith, you know what I mean? Both of their shows. Yeah. Well, on primetime TV, you know what I mean? I loved Martin. I loved Will, uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air because that came yeah. out before. I, uh, it's like, yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, so, yeah. Yeah, my, my parents carry me to see that shit. <laughs> I really didn't give a fuck. Your parents are awesome. Your parents are very, yeah. very, very awesome. I'm a mom. <laughs> yeah, but even, yeah, so I eventually saw Bad Boys uh, when I saw it on, on network television, you know, in USA, when you said Sense Out Words, you know what I mean? Um, what is like uh so the part where they were in the the corner store they say you freeze bitch i forget what they say though um i forget what they say but you know they kind of center lines though you know what i mean and then i eventually watched that no, no, yeah um, like, it that, that's in the store right it's uh freeze mother yeah. bitches yes yes that was it that was it <laughs> no um but the, the sense the f bombs are okay no us right, used right. to do that but i forget what it is they say but the lovers or something i can't remember what right. it was something Some... yeah but yeah, so I eventually saw it uncut, really dug it. Um, yes, it was very derivative, very formulaic, but because it's Martin Will on screen, it's like, yeah. And that was, well, of course, everyone's first introduction to Mr. Michael Bay, right? It's like, okay, he could do flashy action movies, show Miami as like the most coolest looking place ever in the world, you know, we all that kind of stuff, you know, the camera work that he used, the, the action, the music, everything kind of worked for it. Like, it's a very 90s movie, and that's the reason why I dig it so much, because it just reminds me of, yeah. well, the 90s, right? But, I, yeah, I um, I still I still consider it a great action film. Um, it's something it is, it about is. that, I'm going to talk about the, what, well, it'll, I'll talk about the issue I have with this film because of that film, right? Okay, Not so much the second okay. But, but it's for the first one. But yeah, All right. well, I'll, I'll talk about the first one in particular <laughs> with this new one here, right? And last thing I was seeing it with Bad Boys 2, which I did see in theaters, haha, because uh, I was only enough, right? Yeah. Um, I was just blown away by the, the action, you know what I mean? But like I would admit, like, yes, it, uh, it does kind of show the characters in this reckless light. Like, yes, that's kind of the thing about, well, you know, Marcus and Mike, right? They will do the job, they will stop the bad guy, but they have like, this recklessness about them. They will cause accidents, more accidents, more, you know what I mean? More harm than good, that kind of vibe, you know what I mean? But it was just, you know, how they amped up the action in particular, right? Compared to the last one. And right there, you know what I mean? Like, this was like a, a sign of the, you know, the beginning of the end of Michael Bay. You know what I mean? Him just, not just making like these over-the-top action scenes, but just kind of believing that he was like some kind of action god and like, he could just not give a crap about story, but he'll give you all this action. He just had to eat it up. I think this was around the time when we started making the joke about, well, uh, I think Robot Chicken made the joke with, uh, you know, Michael Bay, explosions, you know what I mean? So it was yeah, around yeah. that time that was like, hey, literally any movie with Michael Bay, you're going to get an explosion. This one was just so much explosions. Which I'll also talk about with uh, this movie here. So uh, just a run through of what Bad Boys for Life, aka Bad Boys 3, is about. Right, so uh, they're getting old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No uh, surprise. They're getting old. In the fifties, yeah, the early fifties now. Right, they kind of they kind of drifting further apart, at least ideologically, about whether or not they're gonna go continue being cops or retiring, and they have to do the prim- paradigm of well, is it really gonna be bad boys for life? And the story kind of reach it. It have a little quick dumb action sequence at the beginning where you you find out what it was about, 
Um, they make <laughs> they they call back um probably one of the big the more funny bits from part two where you find out well who the father of the baby is so you'll uh-huh, understand uh-huh. that immediately. Right, and then they well they kind of just kind of going on living their life. Um, they introduce this new character. I forget her name. She's the head of Ammo. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah which is this sort of uh, sorry, her name is uh Rita actually. Right, right, right. And it, it, basically, she's the head of Ammo. Which is this this tech tech team? Yeah, not tech team. Well, it's, well, it's tech, tech base police right. squad kind right. of thing. Yeah, yeah. They they basically they basically NCIS, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just, just, just with the younger people in it. Yeah, yeah, it's a young sexy CSI group, right? And, yeah. uh, and they know how to hack everything and whatnot, right? And then, um, so they made a bet. So it is where the big inciting in the story is where uh-huh. they made this bet and to have a, a running race and say whoever win, you, you win my bet. And the bet, the bet was, you know, retire or stay, asking Marcus, uh, Mike to ask Marcus to do that. And, um, Mike was winning, and then you know, see some some guy a bike come up and bust some P90 shots in Mike's chest. And yeah. you think thinking, shit, Mike is so, so, nice so, 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 so Mike get hit to that drive, right? You find out, you find out that it's something that Mike was connected to. Well, they showed us a little earlier scene, and this this basically this hit list that Mike was on, and he was the first to be taken out, quote unquote. And then this guy started going after a bunch of others um, to take them out. That's pretty much his script. Story starts, right. and you slowly but surely figure out what's going on, what the big thing is, who the killer is, uh, who is the person hiring the killer, and why and why and how one Mike is connected to all of that. And yeah, uh, that's the story. Right. I thought the script in this was good. I actually really like the script in this. It's a good mm-hmm. story. Same, same. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree. Right, but the problem I thought almost all of the energy and deliveries drained out of the story. And I don't know, I don't know if it's supposed to be part of the getting old or the death was kind of just half assing it, but that just drained all of the energy. And I thought the action was kind of weak. And I can't believe I'm going to say this, but I kind of miss Michael B, even though he had a small cameo in the beginning of the movie. Yes, he did. Uh, yes, he did. Um, right. Okay, so this is where things get a little tricky here talking about this show, right? So allow me to begin. So I, I wrote on Facebook, like, one of the uh, posts was, uh, Okay, I can't believe I see this, but this just might be the best entry in the series thus far, right? Right. Uh, and this is just more well, because of the, the, the story. But what I'll say story, that, right. Yeah. The story I, is and okay, we, we okay, so we're not ranking these as amongst the greatest movies of all time, right? We talk about as far as bad boys movies go, right? Which is not bottom of the barrel, but I mean they they formulate, right? They are basic yeah, right, yeah. in nature. So I like that with this one, they that they were they were self aware. They actually knew, okay, we being silly here. We have to update some stuff here. We can't do the the, the same stuff from two thousand three to nine ninety five here. But we have to update things. We have to, especially with you know Marcus right. and Mike, right? Where their directions are in life and stuff like that. Uh, what I would say though, as far as the story, it's very how, the way how I see it, right? Uh, the writers for this, I I could tell that they probably look at the first film, the ninety five right. film, as inspiration it's because at least with this one, yeah, with with that one, they manage even though not fully successful, they managed to blend the humorous moments with the action with the seriousness. So in this one here, you got you 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 laugh right, you'll get your action, but ever so often they'll hit you with something dramatic. You'll hit you with right. something tense. You'll hit you with something like, oh, shit. I, you know, okay, so... Shit the, just the, get the, realer, the, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, so the working comparison for this is Little Weapon. You know, yes, Little yes, Weapon. Yes. Which in our way is like what, was like what Bad Boys, the first one, was yeah, mirroring right. bad, as bad well. Boys was, it was uh, the, the shift in tunes. Uh, yeah. It's very right. Little Weapon. Very Little Weapon. Very Miami Vice kind of thing, right? Yeah. Uh, but the, pro- the, big, the big sell, sorry to say it, but the big sell of that that this franchise is not the script. Even though I think the script is the best script, it wasn't the script. It was one factor. Only one factor. It's a big goddamn factor. And, Martin? Well, yes, but I would think it's really Michael B himself and his style. And ah, I felt yeah, 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 yeah. I, well, I, would, say, I would say that two is, is the one that really set that up. It was like, Oh, no, you but you really want to see the best of Michael B. Adrian? Watch. But I, I find I still, I still consider one my favorite because one just had a style to it, just an energy to it, 
It just yes. had these it, 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 No line. It, it. Yeah, yeah. I feel this film just missed that completely, Dread. Like, it just had no... I don't know. It just feels so bland and flat. Even though I like the script. Yeah. Okay, so... Well, to, it had to, no act to, 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 that I liked. It had no... It just, it just had no... I don't want to say, like... For lack of a better it, it, term, it's, it's not it's not high, as high octane as well. No, no, no. Like for for lack of a better term, this film kind of had no soul. Now I'll see, or at least it had its own thing that didn't really line up with me because I still consider the first one an excellent action movie. It is, you know, it, it, is, is. it is, yes. Right. And I I the script for the first one is a simple script, but because Mike Marcus and uh, forget the, the girl name from the first one, um, sure them both. Oh uh, T L E O D. I think that was the actress name, right? But yeah, you, you you're right though. Well, take it about yeah. it because yeah, it was it was Michael B. You know, me he was moving from music yeah. videos to to an action. And look, I'm gonna give you a really stylized action movie yeah. that you have seen before, and it's very yeah. it's very nineties, yeah. yeah. and that's what works. You know what I mean? Uh, right yeah. up to the music calls and the the colors, cinematography, yeah. all that stuff, right? What I would say with this, yeah. right, in the in the movie's defense, in this movie's defense. It was both like the the directors themselves, right? Uh, was trying to do their own thing, like try to do a right. uh, modern take on it. But at the same time, because you have so much that I had fans in the movie, and because of the huge gap in time between two and three, you kind of have to please the fans. Though, so you have to give us right. some of the beisms. But I uh, would admit when they try a couple of beisms, especially like well, the sort of like the one eighty shot. Where you see like the two characters listen, looking listen, up. It, listen, it I they really completely look waste like that it. shot. They completely waste that shot in yeah, the scene I, because it, it, it just didn't look good though. Like yeah, nobody they had a waste. way of doing it. Thought, like they have no, a way of doing it, but in this case, it's just like yeah, we just do it because it's a bad boys movie, right? It, and I it just came up like that. Yeah, in the first film. Yeah, yeah, you do the shot after an amazing fucking action sequence. Like I still yes, consider yes, that, that sequence is awesome. Right, awesome. Yeah. And then at the end of that, you do this amazing shot. The second film did something similar, right? Great scene. Right. Uh, they, this, they had it the right after. Um, oh gosh, uh, so uh, who's, who's the guy? The the gangster. I forget his name. Right, the the wannabe Scarface. Right. Call Marcus and tell him, oh, we have your we have your sister. Right. And then you get that right. shot, and then we see shit just got right. real. Great exactly. movie. I love that. Yeah. Yeah, in this one now, he get kicked in the chest and he get back up. And I'm like, all right, well, why are you using it here? Like, to me, they could have, like, have a big reveal. Like, like, okay, well, there's a big plot reveal in this. And dies when they could have hit you that. You don't yeah. know how to use these telephotos, the telephoto, um, you know, roto, what, uh, the, tato, the telephoto track and shot there. You don't yeah, know how to yeah, use yeah. it. And they didn't use it properly. They use it in the worst place. Like, what the hell? Yeah, I, I think, like, in retrospect, though, for this movie here, like, uh, you know, so we did mention that Michael Bay does make a cameo. Did not see that coming a mile away, but it kind of would. Right. kind of work, especially in the context. It kind of would, right? They could have right. had he, as a consultant at least, at least to talk to him and be like, okay, what, how we could take this that you used to do that people like? We like that shot from, from Bad Boys 1 and 2. We like right. the isms, though, even though people will be kind of annoyed by them because he used them in so much other movies. But, I mean, it's the start off with Bad Boys, right? I, but he no, could I have us a consultant that. to talk to him, like, okay, what we could do, how we could update this, how we could make it fresh, but, you know, we still be still be Michael B at the same time, though, you know, without being too pastiche, you know, that kind of thing, though. They could have done that instead of just having them just be there to make an appearance like, oh, no, 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 you you handle your scene, Jen. you handle your scene. And that's what we kind of get. It's just like these guys handling the scene, but it's like, you know what I mean? They, they, clearly, they want to do their own thing, but at the same time, we just have to have the me-ism stuff. We even have the shot right. of like the Miami sign or two, which no, I, did. I wish I did. even, I don't even like... a little yeah, I don't, to... I don't, I don't do that shot, right? The Miami sign yeah, and the plane. I, I, and right. doesn't just me though, but the frame of it though, it's real tight though. Like yeah, you don't yeah, see the full cool. Miami thing. Like in the first two movies, what? you cut it and it looked real good. In this one, it was just so tight though. It's like, yeah. I just I, felt, I don't it just felt uh, one thing. It just felt so after the fact. Like, okay, we we halfway to the movie. Uh, what other me is that we could use? Oh right, the Miami side. Right, cool. Let me let me just squeeze that in. Let me have that as a cut. Right. That's how it felt like like a throw we see there. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. As I said, as I said, it's it's my favorite strip because it does a lot of reflexive, introspective stuff about the material for what it's worth, right? Yeah. Um, you know, Marcus and Mike bouncing off each other. 
I, I like a lot of that. The new character, Rita, she comes in. She's quite good. Um, even and then the big, the big plot reveal involving the two, 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 well, the two villains. I thought they yeah, were yeah. good for what they were. That, that was I thought good. the actors. I thought the actors a little flat for for one of the characters, but then they do any fast and the furious thing with him. So whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um. Speaking right. of those villains, though, I was a little worried about them because uh, we we did get uh, okay, what be Scarface in the bad boys too the first one right. we got uh who it was i think it was uh was it peter Skarska, i think it was uh, no uh peter stormy i think it was uh, i can't remember That's who played the villain stormy. yeah 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 what? and you know what i mean stormy? like no oh no. no, uh, gosh who was he right uh i can't remember his name but yeah, yeah but, but i don't know like i just more remember the villain in the second one because he was just so bleakly trying to be scarface right but this right. one, it's not, yeah. I'm not saying that they give them a lot of depth, but they were the most memorable out of them, and how they incorporate them into well the lives of Marcus and uh, right. and Mike. I I love that. I love that because it made yeah. more personal. It made it really sticks up uh, even more. But okay, well, okay. So you know we talk about the gripes and stuff like that. But here's the funny thing: I still actually really enjoy the show way more than I expected too. I- yeah, no, what saved this one, what saved this one is they actually put the stakes up a lot. So you really yeah. felt uh, some, like some, some real shit happened in this one. And yeah, I, I so. like that. Yeah, because they, they, they kill characters. <laughs> they, they actually yeah, they, they, kill they characters. Do, they, do, they do, that's all we'll say, yeah. they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it worked. Right. Um, right, so what else? But yeah, but I just like the, the smart callbacks. I, I felt that they were mostly well taught up right the the, the callbacks the little references to the previous films uh the mere fact that yes martin lawrence and will smith are all the mere fact right. that yes will is play, still playing the action hero still and martin well you know he kind of retired but they just bring him back for this movie so they play that off very well and, and thought that the yes. chemistry still on point um a dog just like with the first film a dog like how the shifted tones very ever effort well, near effortlessly, I would say, though. So, you will have a humorous moment, you'll have an action scene, you will have something really tense, really dark, very dramatic, but it never takes away from everything else. So, it just has this nice little flow and it's very reminiscent of the first movie. Uh, they try to copy the high octane action for the second one, but I felt this is where they kind of fell flat. Um, I mean, yes, I dug the action, the, the action was there, but I didn't feel it as much as, say, the first and second movies. The first one, had this dramatic tension, especially when you have uh, Lord Malfs, I think that's how you pronounce his name, the, the composer, who, by the way, shows up right. to do the original score for the first movie. That, 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 you know what I mean? But, like, when you hear it in the first movie, that just gets you all popped up there, you know what I mean? Especially with that, yeah, yeah, yeah. With that chase scene that we talked about. And then, well, two, this was when, you know, it was just all balls in the wall. It was just high teen in scene oh, action. But this one was right. just... Okay, right. we don't want to do <laughs> that because... Well, I, one, one, sec, one, sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. I think the reason why they do it is because, well, we don't, we want people... Because, yes, there are people who really did not like Bad Boys 2 at all. And one of the main reasons is just because of how over-the-top and excessively violent felt, right? And I admit it was slightly excessive, but not too much, right? But I felt that, you know, these new guys were like, okay, we don't want to do that. We don't want to be Michael B. Wannabes. So you'll bring we own take into it. But other than just looking good and flashy, it still have to give us that energy. You have to have me, you have to have chills going on, you know, um, going on my spider. Instead of, okay, I'm just going to wait for a quip and then I'll laugh. And then, oh, that looks sh- that look cool. Oh, we get explosion. Oh, gunshots. You know what I mean, you have to give us a little bit more energy. I felt that was what was lacking with the action seats. Still, they're very well handled, very well shot and edited, but it just lacked that extra oomph. You know what I mean? But, yeah, go on. Yeah, no, um, as I said, I, I, and I enjoy for what it was, and because the way everything is, it, it shaped things up, and, well, assuming the kind of money it, it may or may not make, I think it'll, it's actually on track of doing a lot better than people expect. Yeah, um, it actually is, because I thought the cash right now, and, well, the, the kind of yeah. What to uh, start work on Bad Boys 4, which is like, well... Right, right. The... As, as much as for, as much for a January movie. Um, I yeah. would like to see what a Bad Boys 4 would be. And if the Bad Boys 4 could have a little more energy to it. Because that's the only problem. It's just it, the energy missing. Something about it. That lightning that one had, not there. And, yeah, and yeah. get it, like, it's still... You could, spin, you could spin that as, oh, well, it's just they're getting old. But no, it's something about it just wasn't there. 
Right. And, and even the over the top, this is the second one. Like I was expecting this show to be over the top, but still give us a bit of that because like I, I remember right. majority of the action scenes from both movies, but still it's just like with this one, it's like like it did, but still come on, it's bad boys, right? So once again, right. just have it to please the fans, but at the same time you just want to do something different. So I guess at the end of the day, that's the main issue is just that bad to act. Like you want to please the fans, but you also want to please people who never cared for the movies at all. You want to actually show a reason why this movie exists. And for the most part, they succeed, right? But hey, we get a force, so at least they can improve on things. But other than that, though, uh, just to round things up, I really dug this movie way more than I expected. I actually really like this show. Uh, I have yeah, to yeah, think yeah. about whether it is the best, you know, literally in terms of like the, the, the series as far. Because I still have fun moments of one. I still have great moments of two. This one has a lot of great stuff in it. I um, really dug the way how it's paced and, you know, the tones and shifting and all that kind of stuff. Acting was solid. Cinematography looked great. Um, music choices. I like the fact that they did not use P. Diddy's Bad Boys for Life throughout the majority of the songs. Uh, right. the movie. I was worried about that. I didn't mind bringing in, well, you know, the original Bad Boys song because you kind of need that in these movies. And how they work it into the movie was really cool as well, where it's like, well, yeah, we, we, we still doing this though. <laughs> you know what I mean? That was a great joke. Um, the whole, I'm an old cop and, you know what I mean? You, you should be retired stuff. They play that all very right. well. And, you know, you know, twist and twist yeah. that they do have involving more characters that all were excellent as well and really added a lot. The villains were really intimidating. I would say that much. Um, and they stand out way more than the others. They weren't like cartoons, like, you know, like the second guy uh, or derivative like the first one. But at the end of the day, it's still your formulaic like, stuff. If you if you've seen one body cop action movie, you kinda know where things are gonna play out here. But it's in the world of bad boys. I love that they actually bring new life into it. Now. So it's not like, oh, this is like the greatest movie ever. But as far as like the, the series itself, yeah, this is a step up in the right direction. I really can't wait to see what they do next. So yeah, this was a really surprise for me and see that we get this in January. So hey. At least we have proof here that, you know, Jerry movies could still kick some ass, right? So, right, uh, right. reason wise, I would go for a light and decent format. This, I really recommend that you do see this on the big screen. Uh, I have one and two on Blu ray as a combo pack. So, maybe one day I'll actually buy this movie. I actually don't mind adding this to my collection, um, my movie collection here. Uh, it's not perfect, mind you. It's still derivative, still formulaic. Uh, and it's it just kind of lacks the energy that you know Mag- Michael B for better for worse fused into both movies, but yeah. it's still a solid effort. It's still a great update of what was long thought to be a dawn, you know, series. And yeah, I just really can't wait to see what they do next. Um, and just right. keep making these, these smart calls, but just you know, and tweak things for for the better. But just don't forget that energy trick, and that's what we love in these bad boys movies: the energy. Right, I I really hope they get a part four for this, and and the main yeah. character and Mike could could you know bounce off each other a little better because I, I really like what they did at the end there. Uh, me too, me too, me too. I yeah. give this. I it's give uh, this oh by the way, it's, it's very it's very fast and furious ish. That's all we'll see. Without right, spoiling anything, see. but yeah. it, it, it works. Yeah. It works. Yeah. Yeah, but um, as I say, um, what I'll say is that it the. I, I like the script. I just wish they bring more energy. And I'll, also, yeah, I'll give this like a, a low movie tone. Um, I, I fair enough. Fair I enough. Does, it, does, um, it, it does a good logic thing. Again, that, that call back to the to the, the kid from from part two is, is hilarious. Just to see him as this it big is, buff it And it kind of works. So which, oh, by the way, um, yeah. where, 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 where Marcus' son? Where's Marcus' son with the, with the glasses? I was looking True, through, right? through the whole movie. Yeah, you, saw, you saw a picture of well, basically, it's how the son and daughter looked at Bad Boys too, which kind of make me right. laugh a bit. But still, it's like, wait, wait, when the son, I'm not saying they should have bring the actor back, but whatever happened to him, then well, don't yeah, mention I, him I, at I, all. I, you see his daughter, that's it, dude. Like, <laughs> what was that? I just remember, I just remember the daughter from the second one, and then the, the boy would fuck up and he did the doorway. Well, and everybody the remember one. that, but still, there was yeah, the boy. Dude, so, dude, dude, that's a bad now, now. I find that hilarious. Yeah, like but but, uh, but to, to the franchise, to the defense, you saw more of the, the boy in the first movie because that's where he was taught. He was 
you was talking to Mike, it's like, oh, like, you know, when, when Mike was living in the house, well, he was talking about, oh, when I shot these bad guys and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, you know what I mean? Like, but still, right. you know, he was, he was like a, a standout character, but still, he is part of Marcus's family. So, where, where is he do? Just saying. Yeah, I forget what forget about you. Um, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, I, low movie tongue. I don't hate it. I uh, just wish it had more energy. That's what I need. They just need to have that that um they need that they, because that's the thing with these movies you know much like the fast and the furious movies you can't have no nowhere on director you need a director who have a style you know get somebody like i don't know who you could get get, get f gary gray or somebody like that and bring a, a kind yeah, of he, certain he, energy he could, he could do a good job look at what you do with uh feet and the furious yeah. right yeah yeah exactly yeah but these guys uh i mean whoever <laughs> uh i'm not even gonna try to pronounce the names they do they do a pretty good job and uh well i don't read it up here and i'll, I'll close off here Apparently they they were working on a Beverly Hills Cop four because right so everybody the wants to see you, Beverly Hills Cop four. What like these guys? You know, you have a lot of these guys like, and they tend to they tend to mostly be Arabic for some reason where they will latch onto some hip hop thing and not do a good job with it. Like remember, like that guy who did the Wu Tang album, but the album is real shit. Oh, um, oh gosh, that guy who bought the 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 coveted album, but what's his name? Yeah, yeah, I know you talk about right. It, it coming across like that. It's like, oh, they, they happen to be doing another famous black cop movie back in the... Uh, come on, like, you know? Uh, yeah. Whatever. They're doing the Vivo thing, right? Um, you know, they're doing the YouTube Vivo thing, right? They're just kind of buying it out and kind of, san- you know, sanitizing it in a kind of weak way. So they're like... <laughs> going yeah, for real, for real. You know, yeah, back but... to what what in the first place. Yeah, but uh, all I'll say, though, well, just to wrap things up this, that if you are a fan of the Bad Boys franchise... You will enjoy the hell out of this. You should go and see this as soon as you can. Go see it on the big screen. Hope that there's a lot of people. I went, saw it with a huge crowd. We, well, we laugh at that moment. We actually react to a certain shocking moment. That's all you'll see. So yeah, the audience was heavily invested in it. But I will say, if you have Bad Boys 2 on a rel, on a pedestal, then yeah, this could be a disappointment for you. Like if you expect it, this movie to amp up on the action you know be from part yeah. two yeah you're gonna be very very disappointed with this one here but if you dug the first one you love the sort of body cup sort of formulating aspect of it and storytelling there then yeah you're gonna enjoy this one